What has the bars been like this week at training? Uh, it's been good. You know, not much has changed from our recent weeks. We've just sort of carried on our form from the second round of the season um, into the finals, and yeah, now we're good vibes at our trainings, and we'll hopefully continue that in Saturday's game. And what dangers did Tiger and Army play? Um, I think uh, probably their forward line in midfield um, like to get that counter attacking uh, going pretty quickly. So uh, last time we played them we did pretty well and we sort of cut that out and minimise the threat from that midfield to, to the to strikers so I think we do that again we'll probably get success again so yeah. Are they a dangerous threat given they they haven't played in finals and they don't have a lot of guys who have so they're a little bit of an unknown at this They time. are yeah but they still have some um, experienced players so I think those experienced players will not the young ones sort of carry over the line if they do get there but like you know, every team in the comp are a threat so um, how we approach each team is always differently uh, to the other one. So how we approach Tuggernaut will be, you know, just you know, attacking and getting them on the counter attack as well. So what we've been doing the whole season, and especially in the second round of the season, we've been, you know, have lost the game or anything like that. Um, joined against Gunners, so you know, it's been good for us. So you've got a bit of momentum. Is oh, that what yeah. gives you confidence? Yeah, massive confidence, um, especially for the younger players. They need that confidence. Um, you know, we're a well experienced team with you know dealing and. Shields here and Nicholas as well and Nikos. So having those players in midfield as well is just you know helps the back line tremendously. You know we lost two of our centre backs to overseas and um, avoiding that those two positions at the back's been hard. But you know they've come in well. Tanini as well. So he's not really centre back. He's a right right wing. So he's come back in centre back and you know, doing well. yeah, done well. Because at this time of year, everyone sort of pegs it down to a two horse race at the moment. Canberra Olympic, Canberra FC. You know, yeah, they battled it out last week as well. But feeling that if you get through this weekend, you, you can put some pressure on them. Oh, definitely. Um, you know, second round of the season, I'll go back to that. We we beat Deakin uh, in Kuma, and then obviously the Wednesday game, they got caught off with two nil up. Um, you know, we're in a good situation again, second spot. But obviously, things change in football. You just got to adapt to it. And no, our confidence uh, is good, and you know, we'll go into tomorrow's game with you know, hundred percent confidence. So. How much? Uh, how much are you and the and the boys uh, looking looking forward uh, to be here tomorrow in a you know in a in a great game against our targets? Yeah, we're we're um, we're we're, that, like, we're excited. Everybody's buzzing, and um, we've had good good um, good training this week. And um, but now it's just ready to go. This this is the this is what you want to do as a player. You want to get out and play. And in semi finals like this, there's there's not a lot bigger stages, especially around Canberra, than you can get on. So we're ready to go. And how much does it help? You know, Mitch talked about it before of having a full squad f for the first time. Yeah, brilliant. Um, I think it's I think it's a massive bonus, and and having that pressure on on positions and looking over your shoulder like there might be someone that can come in and, and take your spot is is it only helps the squad. But um, to, to have to have more options as well coming on to change your game because we some games we've been down to maybe just 11 players, and and you'd have a, tw a couple of young kids on the bench. But then, in them games that you need maybe someone to come on that has a bit of experience, maybe you can sniff your goal. Then, um, then that's probably the big thing that we can bring on some quality off the bench when, when legs are starting to get tired. And lastly, just what would it mean for the for the club to to go all the way and, and, and capture the GF? That's to me, it's just a guess. I, I I don't really know. I haven't been around the club too much. This is my first season, and for me personally, and I know knowing the group of lads there, I think it would mean mean a hell of a lot to them. Um, and. And, uh, and that's obviously the goal, but we, we know that it's, it's one step at a time and it's, it's one cup final at a time to get there. So.